I am not going to let the Mayans ruin my birthday. What? No. No, 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 no. The Mayan elders. Are you serious? The Mayan elders have a second reference acknowledgement they found carved deep, deep, deep into the stones of Mexico City. There's reports coming in. Now listen to this. December the 21st, 2012. That is my birthday. This year I'll be the nifty 50. Are you serious? When? December 21st, 2011. This year I will hit the nifty 50. I'll hit my year of Jubilee. Wow. I'm ready. I'm ready. Amen. 50 is the new 30. What? Yes. Okay. Now wait. <laughs> oh, devil, dog, dare the devil, the devil, the word of God. Okay. Here, Associated Press. Okay. Mexico is acknowledging a second Mayan reference to 2012. Mexico's archaeology, archaeology institute downplays theories that the ancient Mayans predicted some sort of apocalypse would occur on December 21st, 2012. But on Thursday, it acknowledged that a second reference to the date exists on a carved fragment found at the Southern Mexico ruin site. Second, second carving. Most experts had cited only one surviving reference to the date in the Mayan Hieroglyphics. Did I say that right word? Hieroglyphics? Hiero hieroglyphics? Paul Bagley technology here. A stone tablet from the original site in the Gulf State of Tabasco. But the National Institute of Arth Arthropology and History said in a statement that there is in fact another apparent reference to the date at a nearby ruin. The inscription is on the carved or molded face of a brick. Hang on now. Wait a minute. Are you guys sure it's authentic? Okay. Anyway, it's they found it on a, on a it's an unusual among Mayan temples in that it was constructed of bricks. But Arturo Menendez, a spokesman for the institute said that the fragment of inscription has been discovered years ago and has been subject to thorough study. It is not on display. It is being kept in a storage at the Institute. And this Kamakalauko uh, brick, oh, as the second fragment is known, has been discussed by experts in some online forums. Many still doubt that it is a definite reference to December 21st, 2012. But the date cited by proponents of the theory as the possible end of the world. Some have proposed it has, but the reason is, why is it the end of the world? My question is to the Mayan elders, the 13 elders running through America holding up those 13 skulls. Why? What? Where? What is the, if, the, if, if, if December 21st, 2012 is the day of apocalypse, is the apocalyptic moment, tell me how and why. Tell me how and why. Again, Matthew 24, 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels in heaven, but my Father only. Let's say it again. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. That's Matthew 24, 36. Now go over to Mark 13, 32. The Bible says these words in verse 31. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels in heaven, Neither the Son, not even Jesus, but the Father. This, I, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, the Mayans don't know the end of time. No, they don't. Harold Camping does not know the end of time. No, he does not. 
William Tarpley did not know the end of time. No, he does not. And no one else knows the end of time. No one. Not even special agent. Uh, these guys, these, all these other people out here. No, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know the end of time. Nobody knows. Okay? Only Jesus. All right. All right. So some, have, some people think they know how it's going to work. But no. Which, when you don't know the day or the hour, then you don't really know how it's going to work. I mean, it's, people will say to me, well, I know when he's coming. He's coming here, or he's coming here, or he's going to come over here. But because this is how I see it. But do you know what day or the hour? Do you know exactly how that works? No, you don't. Nobody knows the day or the hour. How many times do we got to say it? How many times do we got to preach it? How many times does Jesus have to make reference to it? How many times... Quit trying to figure out the end of the world and the date and the time and the moment. Instead, find out, do you, are you born again? Can you tell me the day, the hour, and the moment that you fell at the foot of the cross and that you called upon the name of Emmanuel and from his veins off a cross called Calvary spilled a life's flowing fountain, a red crimson flow to wash your black heart and my black heart and make them as white as snow. I'm not talking about, as the Bible says, Isaiah, the ancient prophets had come. Let us reason together, thus saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, I'll make them as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they'll be as white as wool. I'm here to tell you right now. That the, everyone's going around worried about the common element, worried about YU-55, worried about this next meteorite and that asteroid and this blood moon and that blood moon and this hailstorm and that drought. And I point out all those signs. I'm responsible to point to you the signs. Look at the Middle East. Look at all the nations falling over. Look at the wars, the rumors of wars. Look at the, the, look at the economic collapse. Look at, the, look at the, the millions of people without work. There's almost 15 million people in America don't have a job and can't find one and aren't going to find one. There's veterans coming home from the war. There's nobody to hire them. The economy is slowly, softly, like a feather flaw, falling out of a bird's nest in the top of a pine tree. It is softly falling, but it is falling. And the, the, the hedge fund uh, and the investment bankers and the, and the uh, Wall Street fat cats, they're not going broke. Not yet. They're pumping up a fictitious um, market, where's everybody's 401k? Gone. Where's everybody's pension plans? Gone. And anymore, where's everybody's future? Gone. That's why you need to turn to Jesus Christ. Okay, but let's go back to these Mayans. Don't get me started preaching right now. See, when I'm attacked, whenever these, uh, these uh, false prophets and these false preachers, I won't call them a false prophet, a false preacher, or whatever they are, Whenever they start attacking the gospel, there's something in me that says, what's, what, what's the matter with these guys? What's wrong with these people? What's the matter with these people? And then it comes to me, finally, after about, you know, I have to sleep on it. Paul, this is exactly what the plan is by it, the Luciferian spirit is to attack the truth, to come against. If you can't deal with the message, you know what they do? They attack the messenger. They did it to Jesus all the time. They ask him questions that were really foolish. He would just ask them questions. Like, are you saved? Uh, so from what spirit do you operate from? They couldn't deal with that. Okay, let's go back here. Some have proposed, it's another reference to them, but I remain rather unconvinced, said David Stewart, a specialist in the Mayan studies at the University of Texas of Austin. Uh, Stewart said that the date inscribed in the brick is a calendar round, a combination of a day and a month position that will repeat every 52 years. The brick date, I don't know where he gets that, okay. But the brick date does coincide with the end of the Balkans, roughly 394-year period. And 13 was a significant sacred number for the Mayans. Did you guys know that? 13, well, we do know that 13 Mayan elders, 13 crystal skulls. And the Mayan calendar is scheduled to end December 21st, 2012, basically after it's a, over 5,000 years of existence. Are you saved? Exactly what Jesus said would be going on in the end is going on in the end. And so all I can tell you is the coming apocalypse, yes, it's coming. But do I know the day or the hour? The bride's leaving, folks. The bride is leaving. Are you going to go with the bride? Are you going to go with the bride or are you going to be left behind to face the wrath of God? Don't do it. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'll be right back. Powerful day today.